Hey there everybody. Today I will be teaching you the process that you have to go through or the process that I go through before entering into a trade by ICT trading strategy. Yesterday I gave you guys this entry in my WhatsApp group and it reached the target that I had mentioned. So in today's lecture I will use this example to teach you the process that I went through before entering into this trade. Before starting the lecture I will again advise you to master just one or two strategies and don't go after every other ICT strategy because a single strategy is enough to give you massive gains. Also if you use a single strategy, you get used to it, and you know the risk and reward and you get more and more confident with your entries. From the last few days I am teaching you the exact same strategy because it's simple and it works good enough to make you rich. So make sure to watch the whole lecture and don't skip it. It's better to watch on 2x speed than skipping because you won't get the concept if you keep skipping. So, I will go from higher time frame to lower time frame in this lecture, and I will explain it in steps so let's dive into step number 1. Yesterday when I was looking for an entry in USD CAD, I opened this weekly chart and looked for liquidity sweeps on the weekly time frame, and you can see here that a swing high was made on the weekly chart. And this is the first thing that we look for in this strategy. On weekly time frame, having a swing high isn't a must. Even if there is a simple high, it's enough. Now the second thing is that we wait for a candle to sweep this high, and here you can see that these two weekly candles swept the previous swing high and tried to break out but failed and ended up closing below the previous weekly highs, which of course is a bearish sign. I called this sweep of weekly highs the liquidity sweep because swing highs and swing lows has a lot of liquidity in it, and most of the time the stop losses are placed at these points so when the price sweeps this area, it means the stop losses are hit, and when the stop losses are hit, it means the liquidity is taken. When I say liquidity is taken it means that orders are filled. Without hitting the stop losses the big orders cannot get filled so the liquidity has to be taken. After seeing this sweep I opened the chart of GBP and noticed that the price has swept previous week's lows and the liquidity has been taken here too. The reason for opening chart of GBP is that it is the SMT pair of USD CAD and they are inversely related to each other. Inversely related SMT pairs mean that if the price of one asset goes up, the other one goes down and as I am bearish on USD CAD, seeing bullish sweep on GBP made me more confident on my bearish bias about USD CAD. Now that we have got bearish sweep on weekly and by comparing it to GBP on weekly time frame I became even more confident about my bias. I will shift to smaller time frames like daily or 4 hour. But my strategy is based mainly on the 4 hour time frame so I shifted to the 4 hour time frame and it is our step number 2. Okay. So right now you are seeing the 4 hour chart of USD CAD. Here you can see that we have got exactly the same bearish structure on the 4 hour time frame that we had on weekly chart. I am saying bearish because you can see that we had a swing high on 4 hour and then a 4 hour candle came up and swept this previous swing high which is the first requirement of our strategy. Once the previous swing high is swept then we want this sweeping candle to close below the previous swing high and that is the second requirement. Here you can see that both the conditions are met, and the price has swept the previous swing high, and then it has closed below it. Now for further confirmation we will have a look at the chart of GBP and you can see that exactly the same thing happened here but in the opposite direction. A swing low was made and then it was swept by another swing low on 4 hour, and the candle that swept the low closed above the low, so that makes GBP bullish. And this is what we want because if GBP is bullish then USD CAD will be bearish. And we are looking for sell entry on USD CAD. So, this was the second confirmation and this time on the 4 hour time frame. Now we have a liquidity sweep on weekly and a liquidity sweep on 4 hour time frame. After this comes the step 3. In step 3 we will study the chart on 15 minutes time frame. I always use the 15 minutes time frame with 4 hour because they are tailor made for each other. No other time frame works better than 15 minutes to confirm the 4 hour bias and entry. Now, on the 15 minutes chart we will identify the last swing low that was made before sweeping the 4 hour swing high. In this case you can see this was the last swing low made before sweeping the high so we will highlight this area and we will wait for the price to close below it, and that will be the confirmation of our entry. Here you can see that price closed below it, 
and now we will look for short entry but if you want more confirmation, you can have a look at chart if it has flipped bullish. You can see that exactly the same structure has formed here too. The price has closed above the last swing high that was made before sweeping the low which is bullish and the structure is good to long. Once this has happened we will move into our next step which is getting entry and putting the stop loss and target. Your strategy is a failed strategy if you cannot put the stop loss and target point when getting an entry. If you have seen my previous lectures, I use two diffy points for entries. At times I wait for the price to go up to 0 0.5 fib level and then I get entry and at times I get my entry as soon as the price touches this last swing low that was made before sweeping the high. Now the question is in which case should I wait for the price to go up to 0 0.5 fib level. So whenever there is any important FVG at the top and it is left unfilled then I go with the 0 0.5 fib level method. Also if you cannot afford a wide stop loss then you should wait for the price to go up to 0 0.5 fib level. But in this case I didn't see any important FVG. In case you don't know how to draw the 0 0.5 fib levels then you should draw it from this swing high to this swing low that is made now. So I entered into my shorts when the price touched this swing low. In case of GBP there was this FEG as you can see here so I entered when the price went below the 0 0.5 fib level. Now comes the target and stop loss so I put my stop loss above the swing highs. I recommend to put it at least 5 pips above the swing high because usually there are spreads and your stop loss gets hit if you put it at equal highs or just above the swing high. Putting it at equal highs is a crime though because every noob trader does that and it becomes a point of liquidity. As far as target is concerned, I recommend taking your profits at 2.4 RR but you can always close some of it in midway just to be on the safer side. In this case you can see that there was a 4 hour FVG also near to that 2.4 RR level so that FVG was another reason that I was confident about my target. On the GBP chart there was a 4 hour breaker near 2.4 RR so I took profits there. So this is pretty much all about how I enter into my trades through this particular ICT trading strategy.